Brothers, sisters, some of you take this as a Bible study. What I'm about to say, this is more than a Bible study. We are building soldiers. We are building warriors in here because we are at war. We are at war. Give me that in uh, Ephesians 6, 12 real quick. Ephesians 6 and 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So I wanted y'all to see that because a new video dropped, I believe it was yesterday, called Debunking. Can you put it on the screen? Just We ain't got to play it. Just put the, you know what I'm talking about? What's the name of the video? Debunking the Israelites, something like that. Debunking black Hebrew Israelites. I just want to show you something. I want, I want you brothers and sisters to understand we are at war. This is a spiritual war, okay? It's going to be a, a war that escalates to the second coming of the Lord. They put out a video to go against all the teachings of Israel. And you have ignorant and evil Judas Iscariot twins running behind them. You have weak, effeminate men, masculine women gathering behind the white man to go against the Bible. Let me know if you got it. I just want to show the picture of it so they can see it. Okay, I don't, we don't need to see the video. Right, that's it right there. Documentary, black Hebrew Israelites debunked. Now, I went through the video. I laughed through the whole thing. Because nothing in there can debunk, debunk, debunk anything that we're teaching. But if you are weak-minded, they got you. They got you. And not only that, we have told y'all the, the white man is our enemy. He's the devil. They watch us. They watch us. They study us. What scripture are they going to for that? What scripture? Okay, let's get to scripture. How can we go against that? They sit down in think tanks to overcome the teachings of the Bible. They're going to fail. Did we read earlier? They shall seek to establish the vision, but they shall fall. Yes. Did we read that? Yes, sir. Remember that. Believe that. They're going to fail in all their attempts. The next thing I saw another video. Bishop, I, yes. Before you move on, you should have put emphasis on that point that you made before you directed us to the video. Everything in the documentary they got from us. Mm -hmm. They didn't do any research. Right. The bishop gave a breakdown of the Israelite schools. They literally copied it verbatim. You could just tell that they went to other Israelite camps page and took a few things and threw, it through, threw some things in there. But they didn't do no deep research to come and do this. Like the bishop said, it's clear that they watched they listened to him speak. It's clear that they listened to the inner workings of the conflicts between the Israelite groups because they bring it up. Okay, they have video footage of other camps making mockery of other camps. They have it in there. Like they brought up that camp that speaks about you can rape people. They didn't do research and pick that up. They're trying to make it in the documentary that they did this deep search. But a lot of the stuff, like when the bishop was discussing it, they're using the fact that the Israelite groups won't unify against them. Because they would have nothing if all the Israelite groups saw the attack that was coming and say, you know what? Let's don't fight each other. They're trying to attack us. So they're doing just what Esau has done from the dawn of time, from the days of slavery. They pick the ones that hate each other and put them against each other. And that's what you're going to see in that documentary. Exactly. 100% correct. Uh, understand this. Esau sits back and looks at all the petty squabbles. Yes. Now let me tell you something. Anybody that calls himself an Israelite leader should have the focus or understanding that although we cannot come together um, in doctrine because there's difference, we can at least be what, brothers? Hello? Okay, I don't hear no word. I heard one word. It can't be united. It's impossible. Huh? Okay, we can at least be at peace. We can at least be friendly. Civil, civil towards one another, but a n nigger, I got to use the word, I'm sorry. Yes. A nigger don't understand that. It's more important for him to get YouTube views, right. to get notoriety so he can be the H-N-I-C. Right. And the white man sits back and just watches. Let me tell you something. Esau gathers together against Israel. 
He says, look at this group fighting, this group attacking this group. He says, look, all through the video, you see it. Yep. Playing on it. That's all he puts up. Watch this. It's not just the white man. Another Israelite group went to London. In London, they have a corner called Speaker's Park or Speaker's Corner, something like that. Uh Speaker's Corner. The Arab dude told the Israelite, we see all the fightings amongst you Israelites. You hate each other. That's right. The Israelite brother was nervous because all the Arabs came behind him. And he said, hey, cut. all through the video, he must have said it at least three or four times. Hey, come from behind me. And one of the Arabs yep. said, he's scared. He's scared. Yep. You had the Shiites and the Sunnis who are different in ideology. But guess what? They're civil with each other. They'll come together against our people. But a Negro Israelite who calls him or claims to be a leader cannot see the spiritual understanding. Right. And you call yourself a leader? You got the nerve to call yourself a priest, an apostle, a general, a bishop, whatever fake title you got. All the nations are gathering against us and you're fighting with your brothers. This is why the white man calls us niggas. He said they're stupid. That's Look right. at them. And, and it's sad that all they had to do is just sit back and watch all the videos and they could come up with that. And then they're going to drop that and then sit back. It took no energy. Okay, but you see, all they did was search from camp to camp to camp to camp. They watch all the videos. They look at all the conflict, and they put it in one video, and they're going to use that to destroy what the Most High wants to, to, to build. Okay? But like the bishop said, all the men that they have there that are calling themselves leaders, they have their own agenda. They don't care about you. They don't care about the problems in the people. So they'll go through. They'll make their videos on personal character assassination of other Israelite groups. They'll complain about fringes. They'll complain about marriage. They'll come complain about all the stuff to the law that they disagree with. But when you look at the UN, all those different nations come together and you don't see them doing videos against each other or arguing against each other. They already know the white man coming there, he's the biggest demon, but he still keeps them all cool on his side and still tells them, look, we're all going to work together. I know I did this to you. I know I did that to you. But the black man is the enemy. And they're all unified with that one understanding. Keep our focus on the black man. That's why Christ says, you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. Because there's going to be one group of people that realize, look, we're not going to get caught up in this. We're going to stand on the side of Christ. That's right. And they're all going to realize that guy that's standing on the side of Christ is the enemy. So let's put all the differences to the side and let's attack him. And that's what you see going on right now. That's what the book of Psalms 83. 83 uh, is about it says they have all co- they all came together with one consent he's talking about all this is what you just spoke of the United, United Nations Israel following the Bible is what their problem is they're not worried about Negroes fighting each other they're worried about the group that's going to teach this Bible in its correct form that's what they're really against and Negroes that follow the nations are the same damn way Bishop you said it before in the Apocrypha it says they're going to stop fighting each other and unify against the one common enemy. So the Israelites. It's in the Apocrypha. And I think Second Ezra, you pull the scripture. They're going to stop fighting each other and say, look, this is the enemy here. This is who we got to attack. But you got dumb Negroes in place saying that they're leaders of the people. That all they're doing is turning their congregation against other Israelite groups. Right. That's all they're doing to get views, to get money. To get woman, to get power, that's temporary. Because when the white man decides enough, everybody's going to get shut down. You watch and see. Exactly. You got to ask yourself, why, why has YouTube monetized? Because back in the day, it was hard to monetize your videos. You had to have X amount of subscribers for years. All of a sudden, now, boop, it's easy. Now, everybody's doing it. Why? And everybody want to get paid? Monetize, monetize. Say the most outrageous thing against your fellow Israelite brother right. to get views. Right. Oh, the elder of Israel United in Christ was in a sexual relation with a transvestite. Right. Oh! Hey, hey, if you wear fringes on your t-shirts, you're That's a faggot. Right. You're a faggot. And a new I'm one. like, what scripture? What, what is this? Com- what the hell? And everyone, oh, con out of one, con, 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 con. No, are you kidding me? And a white man sitting back going, look at this. You know hey, what he's saying? What he said back, he said, these niggas don't believe the Bible. They because don't. they're breaking the laws of God for views. Exactly. Right? Because they know stupid people out there are going to give them views for that garbage. You remember. And that's what they're interested in. You, I'm going to show you 
what the bishop is saying is true. Oh, and that's me back there with the greasy, oily chest. <laughs> I didn't know that either. You remember when someone put out that we had our own currency? Yes. And they jumped on it and made a video. And he even said in the video, I'm not sure if it's true. But if it's not true, I'll take the video down. You don't remember that? I don't remember that. They made the video saying, they told you in the video, it could be a lie. But we're going to do the video anyway. They and they a, leave it up. They had a, there was a picture of, I think it was Ithan and Yawasop sneaking into Fort Knox. Yes. It was all fabricated. <laughs> Every single thing was fabricated. <laughs> like on Facebook, they took a picture of a brother in camp and photoshopped it yeah. and edited it to make it look uh, with homosexual exactly. stuff. Yeah, that's it. This is it here. They took this thing here, okay, and they said that we created our own currency and made a video on, on, on YouTube about it. And a guy said in the video, it could be a lie. I can't prove it. But if, any, if it turns out to be a lie, I'll just take down the video anyway. They said that it was 24 karat gold and worth $100,000. Okay? I didn't want to say, but I should have kept it. All right. And y'all remember, y'all remember in the beginning of the year when they attacked the bishop. Okay, with the saying that he's going around, driving around arresting people and all the Israelite camps were exactly. putting up video after video after video, clapping. Finally, he's coming down. Right. One camp said, I've been waiting for this. Yep. I've been waiting for this moment. It was in January it happened. Exactly. It okay, it's the last day of the new year. Exactly. Okay, and what I'm showing you is the bishops just said, fall back. Don't feed into none of that foolishness. Yep. And this has been the most prosperous year for Israel United in Christ. Because we didn't engage in that foolishness. Exactly. We ask for forgiveness for our brothers. We asked the Most High to protect us. And the Most High defended us. We didn't have to call no Israelite camp name. We didn't have to make no videos saying anything to degrade anybody. Although people were waiting for us to come and do that. Mm -hmm. Okay? And the Most High has blessed us. Okay? And he's watched over us. So that's the way you fight. You don't fight like how they're fighting. That, like I said before, they're striving for masteries and they're not doing it lawfully. The Most High is not going to excel you if all you're telling your congregation is stuff that you cannot prove about another man. And your congregation is so simple, they can't see that you're not a leader because you're so full with hate for somebody. If they had sense, if the people that they were speaking to had sense, you would be like, look, is this all we're going to talk about? I'm battling with sin. I'm battling with lust. I'm, I have family issues. But all you keep doing is going back to this man here. And that's what you do. You look at the other groups. That's why we tell you to watch. The whole focus is always looking for something to make us look bad. You know, you know, like when you're looking at these Israelite groups, yeah, a lot of times their leader is very evil. But you notice that that men that under them, they're ruling with the same spirit. The spirit they left in the world they find camp that can feed to the same spirit. And that's what these leaders are. Right. Feed these demons that are coming from the world. Feed them with the same demonic spirit. Because we in IUIC, what we're saying, you must change. These leaders, is not about change. It's not about improving the nation. It's about destroying the nation. Go ahead, Bishop. Exactly. Show, hold that up, y'all. So far as the debunking, I mean, we can go all over the Bible and just completely rip behind and rip draws and every daggone thing else. <laughs> Y'all know that. But I'm going to go into the white man's books. White man's book. The white man's books. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use, I'm going to rip his draws with his own book. <laughs> now, here's the, now here's the issue. Here's the problem. Like I said on many occasions, the so-called white man, he records the truth in his books. I've said that a lot of times. Some people get it. Some people don't. But he because a conqueror or somebody who's going to take other people into captivity, the first thing that he has to do is find out what unified them in the first place. Y'all understand that? Once he finds out what unified them, what made them a nation, what made them a people in the first place, he has to think about what I need to do so that I can enslave them, so that I can put them in servitude to me. I have to remove from them the things that unified them. Like language, land, culture, dress code, eating habit, all the things that united them as a people. Once he takes those things away, he's the tyrant now. He takes those things away, then he gives them lies to live off of. Now the information and the truth that he takes from you, 
He's not just going to lay it in the gutter, throw it away. No, no, no. Because he is going to die. And his succeeding generations are going to have to take place where he just left off. So what is he going to do with that information that he learned about you? He's going to have it in books and in different secret parts of the libraries and this and that and the other to alert his succeeding generations of tyrants. You follow me? Because they need to know what not to teach you. You follow me? That's the reason why when I talk about when we, me and you used to go in the bookstores, we didn't go to the African sections. We went to the Judaical, European sections. And the Edomites that be in the store, they looking at us and they be like, what the hell are you niggas doing in this part? That's what they say in their mind. Right. Then we have to go and pull the books off the shelf and say, listen, you in the wrong part of the book because we open it up and show black people all over the walls. But they're shocked because they were like, what? How did you learn this? Who, where did you get your education from? They have a billion questions because they can't understand how we operated outside of the mode of what their foreparents have done to us, meaning mentally and spiritually. Y'all understand me? So they have these records on us in truth. Case in point. <clears throat> well, let's show the name of the book first. Okay, gotcha. Do y'all see this? How many so-called Negroes have this in their repertoire or in their book collection? None of them. The name of this book is called The New Jewish Encyclopedia. I don't think they encountered on many so-called black people having this book. You would not find this in the African section of the bookstore, so you can understand. You'd find this in the Judaical section of the bookstore. Y'all all right? Let's open up and let's see if we're going to be in the wrong section. <sighs> Here we have at the bottom of the page the uh, exile was talking about Egypt. I'm going to have to, because I don't know if y'all can see it. I'm going to read what it says here. That's good. Scenes from the Rick Mears tomb at, at, Thebes, at Thebes about 1450 BCE showing what? Jewish slaves, Jewish slaves helping in Egyptian structure. Do y'all see this? Can y'all see the color of those people? Black. So what the hell is this new film that these devils are talking about? But they show you the film, but they won't show you this. Right. And every book, now all of a sudden is wrong. Right. The book's been fine for all these years. Now in the documentary, all these books are wrong. And they keep making reference to fake black Israelites. Fake black. You notice right. that? How much time they kept well, saying that? Fake they black Israelites. Hold it. Wait a minute. Why they didn't call the fake blacks in here? And it shows you them as black. Okay, black men. Look at them. Some the color scrapped off. Some of them, two of them. I see it, but black, and it calls these Jews. So the white man likes to pick and choose. Exactly. Right. So that whole thing that they, I'm gonna give it to you, Deacon. So that whole garbage of a video that they came out. How come they ain't speak against this? Because they they didn't ever speak against this because they don't think that so-called Negroes have this. That's right. Go ahead. And also in the documentary. They try to debunk this book right here. The Zonovan. Yes. This thing is outdated. They even attacked the Bible dictionary. Now, saying outdated, said, uh, it says that because um, Shem, um, that, that Ham is the father of the Negroes. They try to attack that part. And he goes, that Negroes, remember I, we said earlier in class, I said how, if we're not Israelites, then who are we? So that video comes with an answer. Oh, they're Nubians. They're from Cush. <laughs> That's the answer. But he reads the book. His whiteness, he goes... The Kushites had Negroid features, like Captain Isaac pointed out. Negroid, they didn't say they were Negroes. They had Negroid features, and Ham had populace over all of Africa. Then he goes and says the Egyptians are white. So I'm like, wait a minute. How could the Egyptians be white and come out of Ham, and Kush came out of Ham, and they're black? What he had, what, his kids is retarded? Was it retarded features? Some white, some black, with it's polka, polka dot children? Madness. So in his whiteness... People don't pick up that. So this guy is it. He's cutting himself with his own book. It says that Kush were Negroid features and that Ham had all of Africa. So he cuts himself with that Egyptians are white stuff. There's a painting, uh, uh, not a painting, a photograph. It's a photo of the white man uh, painting, whitewashing black images. You can see the fear in that video. 
That means this truth is tearing they behind. That's, right. that's, that's, that's why that Ishmaelite was going hard. Was going on. Because Ishmael, Ishmael's not like that. <laughs> he was Ishmael, vigorous. He was very, yeah, he was very, very vigorous. Vigorous and aggressive. He was relentless. That is right that's there. That's it right there. This is a photograph from the Russian icons okay. by Father, Father Vladimir, Vladimir Ivanov. Ivanov. So the video that you're about that you'll watch later on tonight about debunking, oh, this isn't right. This is a photo. This is a photo of the devil whitewashing black. You see the black images of Christ in the background? Paul in the back or Saint Nick? I forgot who it is. Is it Paul? Whoever. But Christ is right there in the forefront. But then you got the white image they're painting. You ain't debunking that. Because that's a photo. That ain't something we made up. That's a photo. And that's written inside the book. It said they whitewashed. Exactly. They whitewashed in the book, it tells in the book, it tells you they whitewashed black no, 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 Y'all looking strange. I guess we have to bring the book bring in the, and show bring, it to them. Bring the arsenal. Yeah. The yeah. actual book. It's the actual photograph of the of this in the book itself. The, the problem with these heathens, they think we stupid niggas up here. That's their problem. That's we the come up with the is. bullets, they're going to get dismantled horribly. They, 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 Esau, in his pride and ego, underestimates... His his the oppressed the oppressed that's what he does. The pride you know, of thine heart have the deceived thee. Then when we come with the stuff, they're like, oh, well, and they try to change the yes. topic or do something else. If you notice, they never ever stay in the Bible. They'll reference no. the theologian of this person, Christian right. theologian of this. They'll quote maybe two scriptures and use all their whiteness, that's the right. whiteness of the authors to go, this book, see, we, yeah. by by Anna's devil and Bro. devil Bobson, whatever. All these books hey, that's madness. They think just because they say the name, we're supposed to be in awe. Right. Like, exactly. who, who said it? Ooh. Because that's how black people are. Right. Because they, 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 exactly. They don't think, they, they, just like what y'all are saying, they'll, they'll sit up there with all their quote unquote whiteness. That work on Negroes. That don't work on us. Yep. That's right. Well, we. We're going to tell you behind exactly. up with this Bible. We've been transformed. Now, I want to show y'all something. The website that you said is called Apologetics, the ones that put the video up, the yeah. debunking, okay, that's a Christian group. Reformed Apologetics. Those are Christian groups. Now watch this. Give me Matthew chapter 24, verse 21. Remember, it is a Christian group, a Christian group, people that have their belief, their understanding of what Christ is. This is why this is written in the scriptures in prophecy. Matthew 24, verse 21. Matthew 24, verse 21. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. And no. that's what we're seeing now. We're seeing things that we've never seen on this earth before. Things that you've never expected. Read on. No, nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened. That's why I keep always pointing out to you the most high is speeding up the time. Y'all don't know. See how quick we blew through the year 2016? We just finished Passover. A new Passover's coming. Everything is speeding up. Look at your kids. Look how they're growing. Okay? Look how quick. One sister has a baby. The next thing you know, boom, the baby's hair is big. You don't even remember. You can't keep up. The Most High is speeding up the time. Read it again. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. For the, for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. The Most High is speeding up the time for us. Because if he doesn't do it, the way things are going will be destroyed. So the Most High is literally altering time to save you. Now watch this. Read on. Then if any man shall say unto you, lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to misdirect where Christ is. Because we're telling you what he is according to the Bible. And they're trying to misdirect you in where Christ is. Read on. For there shall arise false Christ. That's what those people are. That's what those people are. They're coming up with lies concerning Christ and his blackness. And who his nation is attached to. Read on. And false prophets. And they're telling you lies concerning the prophecies. Like Deacon Knight Don says, they'll take two scriptures and they won't break it down. Okay? They're false prophets. Read on. And shall show great signs and wonders. That's what they're trying to do with that video. Show you great signs and wonders to take your mind someplace else. Read on. In so much that if it were possible. Say that again. In so much that if. It were possible. They're trying to see if it's possible to trip you people up. That's why we're so hard on you. That's why we tell you to stay diligent. Read it again. In so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. They know we the elect. And they're trying. This is their last ditch attempt effort to say let's try and deceive them. Okay. But the bag's open. The cat's out of the bag. We know everything. 
Okay, they already realized there's no way to stop these men. Cause that took them. They sat back. All that stuff has been within the past couple of two, maybe three years. They gathered all that information together. And all is showing us that they're watching us and they're trying to stop us. Because I don't know about you. If I see dumb niggas on the corner talking week after week after week, I'm just going to walk around them or walk across the street. I'm not going to put no emphasis on them. Okay? And that's what they're referring to us as fake Israelites, fake black Israelites. Why are you going to put in a documentary and putting all that time into following us and watching us? Why did that Arab track down that Israelite camp and act like he just wanted to have a friendly discourse with him about the Bible? And towards the end of the video, he said, your religion is racist. You want to enslave my people. I had to watch through the whole video for him to lose it. And you know what he knows? Well, we've been showing that the Israelites are going to rule this planet. So what he tried to do first was tear him down. He tried to tear him down first. He started bringing stuff. Your God is, is not real. Your God is imperfect. And it was just wordplay. That's all it was, was wordplay. Because if you go into the words, he was wrong on everything he pulled. Okay? And that's why I said last night when I spoke about the vision, about the video, I didn't knock the brother because I don't know the hostile environment he was. I've never seen so many Arabs around an uh, Israelite brother ever in my life of being in this truth. And that video shows you that even them, that's Psalms 83. Come and let's get together to cut them off from being a people. You're seeing that with your own eyes now. Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates from all our YouTube channels. Shalom.